The S98 is the latest in Doogee's line of increasingly indestructible smartphones and with it comes a selection of features that are sure to come in useful for many rugged smartphone users out there. But with attributes like anti-explosion film and a military standard 810G rating, you might think you're investing in an N1 Abrams or an F15 fighter jet. Well, you're not. You're investing in a smartphone and for some, it should prove quite the investment based on my testing. Now, as someone who likes to spend time outdoors camping and at music festivals when the UK's perpetual autumn breaks for that one weekend a year, there are features here I can see coming in handy, especially in the dead of night. Now, imagine you work on a building site or a farm or you enjoy scrambling up the side of mountains. Then imagine you're doing that with some flimsy iPhone in your bag, pocket or hand. What happens when it inevitably takes a tumble? Doom. That's what. Take a look at my girlfriend's Google Pixel here, for example. All that took was for a stray bottle of olive oil to tumble out of the kitchen cupboard, and as you can see, this phone's screen is shot. Doogee knows smartphones aren't as hard-wearing as they sometimes need to be, and has been releasing rugged phones since 2013, meaning that construction workers the world over can drop their smartphone in as many sandy, stone-filled puddles as they like, with no damage to their handset. The point is, anyone who spends a long time in an outdoor setting, be that for work or pleasure, is going to reap the benefits of a rugged smartphone versus a non-rugged variant. I'm Steve Knight for Make Use Of, and today we're going to put the $260 Doogee S98 through its paces to see how it fares under various conditions. Let's take a look. Taking a tour around the S98, we have a device that is 6.7 inches long, 3.2 inches wide, and is 0.6 inches thick. It weighs in at a touch over 0.7 pounds, so it's quite the chunk, although this is pretty standard for a rugged smartphone, especially one containing a battery the size of the S98. The frame is aluminium alloy and rubber, and it feels very much like a rugged smartphone should. Rugged. Given its hard-wearing chassis, the Doogee is capable of withstanding drops, knocks, bumps, and pretty much whatever other physical strain you want to put it under. The front face carries the indicator light for notifications, the 16 megapixel front camera, and the ambient light sensor, which is hidden here somewhere. You've also got the 5.3 inch LCD FHD plus water drop display, which has a 1080 by 2340 resolution and a 19 to nine aspect ratio. Now I mentioned earlier that the phone is reportedly explosion proof, but this is really an explosion proof film, which Doogee has pre-applied to the screen and which you should be able to make out here. You can see the ridge just below the receiver at the top of the screen there. However, as this isn't Mythbusters and I don't have an explosives budget, I couldn't test this feature, but I did put the S98 through its paces in other ways. If we flip the device over, we have the camera array comprising an 8 megapixel wide angle, 20 megapixel night vision and a 64 megapixel main sensor, plus two infrared night vision lights for nighttime snaps and the flash. You'll also notice the rear screen which can show a selection of notifications, control music, and show a clock. However, for me, this is more of a cosmetic feature than a genuinely useful one. Sure, I can see the time, or what control my music, but I can see all of those literally on the other side of the phone, along with much more besides. Perhaps it might be good if you don't want lots of no notifications bothering you. On the bottom edge here, we have the speaker, microphone, and the Type-C port, which you can't see because Doogee covers this with a handy little plug to keep dust and water out. This is an excellent feature and one that has been present on several previous Doogee models. Drop the S98 in water or sand and nothing is getting inside to damage your charging port. On the left edge is the custom key and the slot for adding your SIM and a micro SD, while the right hand edge carries a volume rocker, the power key and a fingerprint sensor to unlock your device. So, that is pretty much what the Doogee looks like on the outside. Inside, you're looking at a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, which has a humongous capacity and lasts several days, even when you use as your day-to-day -day smartphone. So, excellent for long trips in the wilderness. And you can also use reverse charging to charge other devices from the S98. It supports 33 watt fast charging and 15 watt wireless charging. Powering the S98 is an 8-core MediaTek Helio G96, so you're only going to get 4G connectivity out of this smartphone. That will be fine for most users, a deal breaker for some, but you'll have no issue uploading photos of construction site progress to your company server, for example, providing you have access to a cellular data network at your location. 
I had no problem with connectivity when using the handset, which is important while you're out in the field. As this is a rugged smartphone, I'll only briefly touch on performance in terms of graphics and processing speed, the criteria you'd expect to see in any bog standard smartphone review. Rather, I'm going to concentrate more on some of the features that make this stand out as the rugged smartphone you need in your utility belt or camping bag. Okay, so in terms of device performance, we'll deal with graphics first. I downloaded Genshin Impact Mobile Edition, a notoriously intensive game, and tested that to see how it runs. The game's detailed graphics and open world can make your phone's chip work hard, and the S98 coped well, with no noticeable lag. Likewise, streaming movies with the phone is a delight. The screen displays colours faithfully, with a nice vivid brightness that lower priced smartphone displays often lack. So, if you simply must play Genshin Impact or watch the next episode of your favourite series, instead of taking in the breathtaking majesty of the Rocky Mountains you're camping amongst with your S98, you can, and you'll have a great experience. Processing is probably a little more important to those who want a rugged smartphone. The likelihood is that you're using it for work, so you want it to complete tasks quickly. Well, the S98 can cope well with running multiple apps at once, and doesn't stutter while cycling through apps and loading them nor does it have apps fail to load altogether. Note though, that this is wholly dependent on exactly what apps you use and how many you have open at once. Therefore, it's likely to vary a touch from person to person. So, we know it can run the apps you want it to, or don't, depending on what you'll use the phone for, but what about its ruggedness? Well, I'm pleased to report that it is indeed a rugged handset. I put it through a number of tests to ensure that the doogee can live up to its claims and that you can buy with confidence. Now, caveat. As you may know, from my written reviews, I'm a stickler for an IP rating. The IP68 rating means that the S98 is protected against water and particle ingress. IP stands for ingress protection and is an international standard used to measure how well protected a device is. 6 is the highest score for particle ingress, so no sand, dirt or dust is going to make its way inside the handset. In terms of water resistance, the Doogee S98 can withstand submersion in up to 1.5 metres of water for up to 30 minutes, thanks to its rating of 8 on water ingress. Now, you can kind of ignore the IP69K rating. Yes, it means that the device is capable of withstanding dust and high-pressure water jets. However, this standard is only applicable to equipment installed on road vehicles. So, something like the control panel on a refuse truck would have a rating like this to indicate it can withstand high-pressure washing and it kind of contradicts the IP68 rating. You should also disregard the military standard applied to the S98. In testing, Doogee may well have used the same criteria as a US military certified lab would when testing a device's ruggedness. But such a lab did not award this certification, so it was merely to draw you in with some fancy design standard. So onto some practical tests. First, I submerged the S98 in water and left it for an hour. Coming back to the device 60 minutes later, I was somewhat relieved to find that it is in no way damaged and worked just as it should after a quick dry off. I then tried it with wet, stony muck. Again, thanks to the explosion proof film over the Gorilla Glass screen, the phone emerged from its mud bath unharmed. If you lose your S98 at a festival and it's trampled into some mud, then providing it is still on and you have Find My Phone enabled, you should be able to locate it, give it a clean and have a perfectly working S98 in your hand again, if you want a real life example. Finally, I tried the drop test. According to Doogee, the handset can withstand a drop from 1.5 meters. I tested this, dropping the phone face first to emulate the worst case scenario. As you can see, the Doogee did just, did just fine, withstanding the shock of hitting the floor and the ballistic film offering enough protection to keep the screen itself damage free. So, it's rugged enough. But what about other features? Well, one that stands out for me is the camera, and in particular night vision mode. Dealing with the camera first, you've got a 64 megapixel main sensor here, which actually takes some really nice shots. So, for example, if you're working on set design, you can take pictures worthy enough to post on your company socials for your followers. Now, I mentioned the night vision camera, and this is actually a really cool feature. Aside from the obvious benefits of nighttime photography with the 20 megapixel Sony sensor, the night vision camera can help you find your way in dark surroundings. Dark sky camping, for example. Don't stop polluting the sky with your Phoenix flashlight. Instead, find your way using the screen on your phone in crystal clarity. This was a feature present on the Doogee S96 and I'm happy to see it is still present on the S98. Basically, if you spend time outdoors, 
or outdoors at night. You'll love the night vision mode as much as I do, and it's a feature you won't find on a great deal of other smartphones on the market. Even your top-end iPhones and Samsungs don't have this feature. The only complaint I have about the night vision is the inability to capture video footage, but hopefully this will be something Doogee develops in the future. So, there we have it. The S98 is a rugged smartphone with plenty to shout about. Aside from all the features you'd expect from your regular flimsy smartphone, with the ability to take shots at night and the chops to withstand a wide range of conditions, this is a great handset for the outdoor-based smartphone user. I've been Steve Knight. This has been Make Use of Reviews. See you next time.